Hey there everyone and how are you guys doing today? I am Joe Marin and welcome to another video from Mobile Cup of Joe. In this video today I've got yet again another unboxing video, this time though of a Windows Phone device. I haven't had a Windows Phone device in for a couple months now, but I got another one in and it is with the Nokia Lumia Icon on Verizon Wireless. The Lumia Icon isn't exclusive to Big Red Verizon Wireless and is actually one of the highest spec and highest end Windows Phone devices you can get right now, period. Great specifications, 5 inch 1080p full HD display, Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor, 2 gigs of RAM, a 20 megapixel Carl's East PureView camera, the list goes on and on. This is a badass phone right here. We're going to go ahead and unbox it right now in this video here on MCOJ and it's starting right now. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig from your mobile cup of Joe. Okay, and here we go with my full unboxing video for the Nokia Lumia Icon. A big thanks to my friends and pals over at Verizon Wireless for hooking me up with this device right here. Really been waiting to get my hands on this. Finally have it in-house to review or unbox in this video review in a later date. So big thanks to Verizon for shipping this out to me. Let's go ahead and dive into the unboxing video. Uh, the package is your very, very standard uh, Verizon packaging for a Windows Phone device with the front this weird 3D square right here with the Verizon logo and the Windows Mobile phone logo. Verizon logo etched on top. We have the phone number for the phone right there. Not going to show you that because we love you, or I love you, but I don't want you having my phone for this review unit. A Nokia Lumia icon, very, very uh, faint on the back of the box, or the side of the box, rather. The back of the box telling you what the package contains. Nokia Lumia icon, obviously. Pre installed SIM card all your standard stuff. So let's go ahead and slide this little flap off and go ahead and take the top of the box off. And there we go, that is the Nokia Lumia icon. Set that down to the side for a bit to see what else and what other goodies we have in here. Well, it looks like our standard slew of Verizon manuals. Uh, get to know your phone, Fant well this one's upside down. They're all upside down, what's going on? Um, Konskasu Telefono. That's fun. Global support and calling card. That's amazing. Oh, oh my god, it's white and red. This is crazy Nokia and Verizon throwing us off with your multicolored manuals. A uh, consumer information about radio frequency emissions and responsible driving. Uh, product safety and warranty information. And there's more. It never ends. This is a never ending box of phones. You thought you were getting the Nokia Lumi icon, but you're actually getting like 10 pounds of Verizon product information right here. Um, important consumer information, uh, diving into the box, you have more stuff that's not products information and pamphlets and whatnot. A Nokia branded AC wall outlet adapter and our micro USB to full USB syncing slash charging cable. I um, know nothing against Verizon, just got to have fun with them because they pack in like 50 different instruction manuals and global support calling cards and all these instructions. But I'm pretty sure all of us now know how to use a smartphone. Just always fun to have a little fun with them. I'll go ahead and put this back on. Lots of red going on right here. Throw that down to the side. Let's go ahead and actually dive into the phone itself for a bit. Before I turn it on, I'd like to point out some key things about the design. Uh, I like how the glass, you can see, is kind of curved around the edges right there. So you have a nice feel when you swipe to the very edge of the display. Our three windows capacitive touch buttons are back, home, and our search button. Now what is very cool, now some people have trashed it for looking very bland and it may not be the prettiest phone out there, but in the hand it feels really good to me. The sides right here are aluminum or alumin aluminum depending on how you like to say it. Uh, so this is a real aluminum design, at least on the frame, but you can see it kind of breaks right there for a polycarbonate back. Now I don't mind Nokia's polycarbonate use of the backside, I really like how it feels in the hand. And it's ever so slightly curved, not a whole lot to see, but there is a slight curve right here where it does fit nicely in the hand. You have those very, very flat aluminum edges. You could probably get this thing to stand upright if you tried to. Can we get it? Are we going to get it? Probably won't be able to get it right now, but you can see right there you can stand it on its side. So these are totally flat edges, which I like. Gives you a very stark grip on the phone. This is similar to the Nokia Lumia 928 which is another Windows phone device released on Verizon about a year or so ago. So design standpoint, I kind of like it. What's really cool is that the FCC information and whatnot 
is etched onto the bottom side of the phone right here, which is really cool, freeing up some of that from the back side of the phone. Let's go ahead and turn the device on. Both it vibrate, no key logo right there. Again, you know, not really uh, super attractive, but it's not relatively ugly either. It is a black slab, but it's industrial and it looks really cool. Again, you have a 20 megapixel camera on here, very small lens, but 20 megapixel. I'm um, not sure if that's a Xenon or a dual LED flash on there, but this is a, get that to focus, a pure view Carl Zeiss 20 megapixel lens, which is very awesome to have that here. Go ahead and see, is this screen on? Windows Phone, right there. And here is Windows Phone 8 right here. Looks like we have the Lumia Black update. A Windows Phone 8.1, not sure if it's coming to this device or not, actually. I would hope it would be so we can get Cortana and all those fun stuff on there, the notification center and whatnot. But this is out of the box Windows Phone 8.0. Let's go ahead and hop into, what do you want to hop into? Um, I'm not sure, but you can just see this is a very smooth experience. Windows Phone is never really a laggy experience. But having those two gigabytes of RAM, that Snapdragon 800 processor, looks really, really good on here. Hop into Nokia Pro Cam, which has been updated to the Nokia camera application, actually. Go to location, hit OK, and we have got the Nokia camera right here. All your settings, you can still swipe this out for all your manual settings, for your white balance, your uh, focus settings, your ISO, your exposure, and your shutter snap rate. All those settings on there, you can get as detailed with the manual mode as you want. It was a 1080p Full HD display, 1920 by 1080p Full HD, packed in that 5-inch display with the bright and beautiful world of Windows Phone 8 and it looks fantastic on here. Images and colors are nice and bright. A clear black display so your blacks are extremely black as you can see right there. Really, really deep. All in all, really nice display, very snappy. Really excited to see how it performs in the full review. If there's anything specific you want to see me cover in my full review of it, make sure to let me know down in the comments below this video or follow and let me know on my Twitter handle, which is at MobileCupOfJoe on Twitter, or at JoeMarin1, which is my personal account as well. Uh, if you like the video, really would appreciate it if you'd go ahead and hit that like button somewhere on the video, probably below the video player, and hit that subscribe button as well to ensure you never miss the latest episode from MCOJ. With that said, that's all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye. And that's rolling. Hey, where's my microphone? God, it's cold in here. Freaking music sounds like crazy. Alright, let's go. Is that strength that's really bothering me? Okay, it's fine, whatever. Consumer information about radio frequency mission and responsible driving. Boom. Important consumer information. Boom. Information sobre la garantía y seguridad del producto. Butcher that, but that's there. And this again. I just like completely wasted time because I said it was polycarbonate and I thought it was aluminum, but it really was polycarbonate, so let's go ahead and just try this one more time. I think that was good. Let's look at it right now.